The name of the game is Monster Crunch, the breakfast battle game. And the point of the game is you want to get the most points. Um, in this game, uh, players are going to get the most points based off of cards that they have won in rounds. That's pretty simple. Um, the game consists of three hands. Uh, each hand will consist of several rounds. And at the end of the three hands, uh, whoever has the most points is a winner. So, at the very beginning of the game, we have five delicious General Mills monsters to choose from. Uh, at the beginning of the game, each player is going to choose one of these, and they come with a deck of cards, they come with a cereal bowl, and they come with these two uh, monster power tokens. And we'll talk about those later. And along with that, everybody is also going to start with one milk token. So I've taken the liberty of already choosing Fruit Brute, who is my boy. And so let me move all these other guys out of the way. So here we go. We have my cereal bowl. We have my two monster powers. I'm going to start with the milk token. And once when everyone has chosen their monster, they are going to draw 12 cards. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. You draw 12 cards into your hand, and this will be the first hand. Now, looking at these cards, which you're allowed to do, uh, we have cards with values from 1 to 12. There are three of each card, three of each number, so there are 36 cards in everybody's deck. So, this game is going to be played, as I said before, over the course of three hands. This is a hand. And um, whoever the last player to eat a bowl of cereal will start the round. So let's say that was me, for example. I would start the round, and during your turn, uh, the first player is going to play a card into their cereal bowl. If it was my turn, I could play this one, and that would be my turn. Now, uh, for the next player to the left, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. So let's say the next player to my left was Yummy Mummy. Yummy Mummy has two choices. They can either play a card of equal or higher value than the one I just played, or they can choose to pass. So let's say they choose to play. I played a 1, so that means that they would have to play a 1 or higher. Well, let's just say, let's just say they were lame and they just did a 1 also. So play is going to continue like this, basically, around the table, where players are going to keep playing higher and higher values until somebody chooses to pass. So I, as Fruit Brute, played the two, and then let's go back here to Yummy Mummy. Let's say, eh, they want to pass. So what they're going to do is they're going to take all the cards that they've played into their cereal bowl and put them into a discard pile. And then what they're going to do is, if there's any milk tokens in the supply, they will get one of them, okay? And so pretty much, and then one thing that my group and I always do is we flip over the cereal bowl to show that you're out of the current round. Once when everybody but one player has passed, so let's say that I as Fruit Brute was the last player in the round, I would take all of the cards that I have put into my cereal bowl down here and I would place it into a score pile. Now, make sure that you keep your score pile, your discard pile, and your draw deck separate from each other or else everybody's just going to hate you and nobody's ever going to talk to you again and it's, uh, it's going to suck. So I talked about these milk tokens, right? Milk tokens uh, can be used during a turn and pretty much what they're going to allow you to do is during a turn when you play a card you can discard a milk token and you can play multi and you can play either a card that has equal value to the original card play like I can play a second 8 after playing an 8 or you can play a card that is numerically adjacent to, or numerical, let's just say that. So, or 
cart that is numerical in value, so I could do like an 8 and a 7, because, you know, they're sequentially next to each other. So, and when you do that, so as I said before, I would play a milk token, I play that card down here, this is now gone from 8 to 15. Or if I did two 8s, that would be 16. You know the math. Um, multiple milk tokens can be used to play multiple cards, but you can't mix and match. So I can't do two eights, spend another milk token, and then play a seven. It would either have to be I do a third eight, or I could do eight, seven, six, like that. And that would cost me two milk tokens. So that's a good way to get rid of more cards out of your hand. And speaking of cards out of your hand, um, the round will end as soon as one player has played the last card from their hand. So in this example, let's say the round was going, I had a 4, my 8, my last card in my hand was a 12, I played that. The round is now over. Any cards that are in anyone's cereal bowls at this time, so let's say Yummy Mummy had these cards in their score pile, in their cereal bowl as well, any cards still in player cereal bowls when the round is ended will go into your score pile. Point City, baby! Any cards that are left in players' hands at the end of the round, so let's say the Yummy Mummy still had all these cards left in their hand, well, guess what? They all must be discarded. And that sucks, but you know what? There's two kind of people on this planet. There's... The kind of people eating the cereal, and the kind of people who've been shrunk down by their father's shrink ray and are now floating on a little fruit loop about to get eaten. So when a round ends, you do what I just said before. And then you are going to draw 12 cards. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So to start a new hand, everyone again draws 12 cards into their hand, and then... This time, the last player to have played a card from the previous round will start the current round. So, if you remember last round, I was the last player to play the 12 and I ended the round as Fruit Brew. Well, guess what? Then now this round, I get to start. And play will continue like that. So, let's talk right now about the monster powers. So, you can see here... Um, each player, each monster, each General Mills monster, has their own powers! Now, of course, everybody recognizes the big three, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry. And then there's these two monsters everybody always forgets, unless... And there's also Fruit Brew, which, um, you know, Pulp Fiction fans out there might recognize because a drug dealer was eating a bowl of this when Mia Wallace was having her overdose scene. And so pretty much, uh, there's these monster powers, and, um, you can use them, obviously. You can only use them once per game, though. When you use them, uh, you're gonna flip them over, and that shows that they've been spent. You can no longer use them throughout the three hands of the game. The important thing to note is the uh, fine print. If it says use before playing, that means you have to use the power before you play a card in your cereal bowl. Use after playing means after you play a card in your cereal bowl. And any card that says, I mean, any monster power that says until the next round, that means until the round is finished and everybody but one player has passed. That does not mean the entire hand, because that would just be stupid. Okay, so, uh, I mean, basically the game's going to continue for three hands, as I said before. Um, at the beginning of the third hand, remember I said there's 36 cards in these decks. So, at the beginning of the third hand, everyone's draw decks should be depleted. Because that should be the final 12 cards. 
unless you're Boo Berry, which, uh, and you've used your ghostly power, which says draw two cards, that's going to be really the only player who, are, who will ever have to worry about shuffling their discard pile. So the third hand ends, just like every other hand, once one player has played all the cards out of their hand. And then when it comes to scoring points, the way this is going to work is you do not count the values on the cards, but you count the quantity of cards that you've earned throughout the game. So let's say this was my score pile. I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's just eight points right there. Uh, whoever has the most points, or the most cards, I guess, is the winner. Uh, in the case of a tie, you're going to compare milk tokens. And if you're further tied for milk tokens and for cards, then you're just both going to have to be the scariest cereal monsters on the block. And that calls for a celebratory skin milk chug, dude. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. So, um, funny thing, um, I actually realized that I've been playing this game wrong the entire time. Uh, when I was writing the script for this episode, I was like, oh, is that how it works? Because I didn't realize that at the end of the game... You only score the points based on the quantity of cards you have, not the actual values. Because I've always played by you score based off the values. And the other thing too, the fine print on those milk tokens where you can only play cards that are adjacent in numerical value to the original card played. So if I played a 10, I could only potentially play a 9 and 11 because those are the only cards that are adjacent numerically to the 10 because the way I have always played like if you had three milk tokens you could go all the way up to 12 or you could play up to four plus cards just as long as the original card was in there so I don't know maybe that's why my group might like the game a little more than people on board game geek and the internet but you know what Oh well, I mean, I'm not a game designer, so I guess I can't speak on it, but if maybe if you want to have a little more fun, you could uh, you play it my way. Ba-boom, ba-bing! Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all for today's episode. If you learned something, I want you to hit that like button. If you didn't learn something, hit the like button anyways. It needs to be beaten. Um, subscribe! Because, you know, I like to make videos uh, twice a year. So you want to be around for that. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.